You're the captain who Aldi's invited to parley, ain't you? I'm to keep an eye out. It's so I can provide you an escort when you arrive. Right this way, Captain. It's my pleasure. You must be Captain. Glad you could make it, Loveson. Like what you see? The mark on this side, it means I'm the second highest rank on the Council of Captains. I'm but one chair below that cockrot Ferrante. Now, I know I offered you a full parley, but I'm a pirate, which means I'm loyal to my crew. But otherwise, I lie whenever it benefits me. You killed my fourth chair and a damn good friend. A part of me might be impressed. But if you've an explanation, I'd advise you to give it up real quick. Don't think you'll deflect me, Loveson. Benworth was one of my captains, in addition to being one of the seven seat holders on the council. You cut off my right hand. How do you plan to replace it? Only so long as you're loyal to me, you will. But someone's got to fill his seat. Suppose you were to throw your weight behind mine. Aye, I think you're seeing the way of things. How we might come to a beneficial agreement. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'll admit. I really like you, Captain. You got guts. And not just smattered in your hair. I'd like to make you a deal. Thing is, I've got this worry pricking at the back of my mind, Dove. Been irritating me for a while, like a persistent scratch. I know you've met with Ferrante, that you may even be working for him, that pribbling cockrot. But that doesn't mean you can't partner with me instead. Don't do anything to let him catch on. Just keep me appraised of certain future events as they shape up. I. Shh. No need to say anything, not yet. You just think on it next time you're toiling for a man who'd happily gut you, after you've done his bidding, given half the chance. When the time's right, we'll set our strategy. Well, what can I do, you lovesome? We're the future, and we ain't going nowhere. We're pirates, lovesome. We own this sea, and the sea loves us back in her twisted way. Ferrante pines for a homeland he's never seen. But what does old Valia mean to me or my crew? We're not Valian, and we never will be. Though if you're Valian and you want to join our bloodline, you're more than welcome. <coughs> Generations ago, and I grew like a weed in the deer wood, you see? You say consueglo me casitas. I say council of captains. You say principi, I say best pirates in the dead fire. You say swollenet. I say, well, some things stay the same. We're the few, we're pirate. Ferrante, though if you're Valian, I believe you. You seem like a sharp captain, you do. That I do, Loveson. A real powerful one you got there. Where in Aora did you happen to find it? Think Ravan will be wanting it back then? I know I do. Hold on to that, Loveson. You've given me a thought as to how I might track the floating hangar. I'll tell you further when I know more myself. I've got a problem, Watcher. And I think you're just the captain to solve it. Me and Ferrante don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. 
not least of which is the future of the Principi. We got few rules amongst us new bloods, but one of them is that you live free. We steal and we might murder, but if you pledge to us, you're our blood, our family. Now, if I were to act in direct opposition to Ferrante, he'd use it to call a vote of the Council of Captains. He'd see me swinging by the neck. But no one's got a leash on you. Which means if you were to, perchance, free the slaves at Crooksburg, Ferrante couldn't do piss all about it. No one deserves to be enslaved by another. Understand? I'm asking you to sail to Crooksburg to meet with one of mine. She's hiding within their midst, and we'll have insider information on the slavers. I know they base their operations in the Deadfire out of Crooksburg. I know they're small but ruthless, and they've run into problems shipping around the islands. I've only suppositions to offer you, Loveson. But I'd bet my swollen at Ferrante is attempting to gain standing with someone other than the slavers. Aiding the slavers is small fry for a captain like Ferrante. It wouldn't pay well enough to be worth the investment. No, nope. he's got ulterior motives, mark my words. She'll find you, Lovesome. You'll know her by her scar. Find me when you've freed those slaves. I'll make it worth your while, Captain. What? Like, for hobbies? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm not out plundering the seas, I'm right here, ruling my fleet. Suppose I like a good bit of target practice. And of course, who doesn't like rum and a hot bath? Don't guess you like the same? Welcome to use mine, but perhaps later, when there's less of a crowd around. You do know how I like them, and how much they make me like you, Dove. So I heard, and so I'm impressed. I like when someone does me and mine a favor. Makes me feel real friendly towards them, you know? And I like to give my friends little tokens of my appreciation, like this. Expect me to be in touch, if or when I need you. Elsewise, do come to see me should you happen to uncover any particularly juicy tidbits regarding Ferrante's political schemes. Got something for me, Dove? I'm all ears. I've only suppositions to offer you, Loveson. Aiding the slavers is... No, you can bet I'll be looking into Ferrante's possible business and political associations further. For the tip, however slight, I thank you. I figured as much. That's how Ferrante gained his political standing. And that's how he keeps it. With underhanded tactics that whittle his opponents into ruin. Me? I prefer to face my foes head on. Give them the chance to join me before I fucking annihilate them. And I like to reward those who support me. I'm good to my allies, you see. For your troubles, Dove, let me share with you a little of my treasure. Nekataka. But why there, Lovesome? Well, go on then. I'm sure you've heard our saying. Share and share, as is the law of the coast. Explains how she's captain of an undead crew. That also tells me, if she's a death guard, then there'll be something she's wanting most fierce. Something she may be willing to bargain for. 
This bit of knowledge is something I can assuredly work with. I always did like untangling the threads of history. It's like puzzling out an encoded treasure map. Only to reap these spoils, we have to uncover the mysteries of the past. Give me time, and I'll find the means to deal with Lucia. Then we'll be one fathom closer to commandeering the floating hangman. The floating hangman is the remains of the Fonferus. Interesting. Quite very interesting. I had heard rumors as to such. The floating hangman flies a flag featuring the burning palace from Old Valia. As you wish, Dove. I am happily and wholeheartedly at your disposal. At least until I get bored.